Big story new at 630 tonight. Southern New Englanders hitting the road for the Labor Day weekend. But you'll want to buckle up and allow extra time. AAA says traffic is expected to be its heaviest since 2008. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is live at East Providence overlooking Route 195 with more on what you can expect. Shannon and Steve, AAA predicts a busy travel weekend. We're standing in front of I-195. Now the eastbound side is moving pretty smoothly, but the west, just a crawl, a possible sign that Labor Day weekend is now in full swing. For the first time since the economic recession, AAA says the U.S. is experiencing the highest number of Labor Day weekend travelers. The roads are going to be very busy this weekend. That's where AAA Northeast Rep Lloyd Albert says the majority of travelers will be. According to AAA, 35.5 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more from home. That's an increase of just over 1% from the number of travelers last year. I think a couple of factors are in play. One is a, a robust, a far more robust job market than previously. And of course, lower gas prices are clearly playing into this equation as well. Rhode Island state troopers will also be among travelers targeting drunk, impaired, and aggressive drivers. During last year's Labor Day weekend, there were 342 motor vehicle crashes across the state. A fifth resulted in serious injury. In the skies, AAA projects an increase of more than 1% with 2.6 million air travelers. Lloyd says a sigh of relief for businesses. After several very, very difficult years for the tourism business, uh, these numbers are very encouraging and uh, they're giving uh, restaurateurs, hoteliers uh, a good reason to be smiling this weekend. And state police also will be watching these roads for impaired and drunk drivers. Reporting live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Shantae Lands, Eyewitness News.